I'm Phil Guyman. I was a pro cyclist for 10 years. Now I'm retired, but I still train as hard as I can to set the best times on the toughest climbs I can find and go on fun adventures on my bike all over the world. This is Worst Retirement Ever. I've been riding for an hour today all at over 400 watts. I don't think it's healthy. I actually don't want to get out of the nice warm car right now. Next one is a uh, Wolf Pen Gap. This is one of my favorite one, actually. I'm not sure why. I'm breaking out the big guns at this point. All right, let's go. All right, here we are. Welcome to Wolf Pen Gap. And I get to watch myself ride a bike and voice over it. Um, what you're seeing here is uh, part of the, the super long video I did with a bunch of climbs in North Georgia uh, that I've been meaning to tackle. And I took out sort of my two favorite ones that we were able to get footage of to do the, to do kind of these short KOM videos. Um, so this is, we did one for Brasstown and then I rode, uh, what was the rest of my ride? I did two other ones. Oh yeah, I went out to Unicoi and I went out to, um, Hog pen gap, and then wolf pen was. So you're looking at the fourth effort I did on this day, which I, I picked wolf pen. It's kind of a good length for me. I can do I can do really good power for for the 50, the 10 to 15 minute range. Um, also, that's probably why I like this climb. It's it's a good gradient. Um, it's kind of a steady four to to seven percent. I think the whole way. Um, so you can you can really get in a rhythm. It's all big ring. Uh, if you're if you're blasting it at this speed, and it's just it's a beautiful climb. It's a it's a nice spot, um, so I want to do this one. The uh, the follow car is I'm confused at the at the angles of it, but um, that's the we've got my at a van sponsor for this trip. Uh, this was my southeast trip that was aborted by by viruses, um, but we had a van and then the a little sea sucker and a GoPro mount. Uh, the van is driven by my my stepdad. Um, my mom's in the passenger seat, so they're they're keeping a safe distance, um, and I'm I'm glad that they're not mic'd up. <laughs> That'd be a different video. Uh, but here our wolf pen is. So this this is one of the gaps in North Georgia, kind of one of the the very famous. Um, well, not that famous, but should be. It's a really special place to ride in, in North Georgia in the the Appalachian foothills, um, and Wolf Pen is kind of one of the the four to six climbs that that everyone uh goes after and and enjoys on the on the big loops um but uh so as you can see this is my third effort for the day i i know what i can do for for a 15 minute effort on you know when i'm fresh sort of this this day i was trying to i was trying to kill myself via via climbs so a little bit different uh, so I paced it, I kind of started on the easier side. I started and, and was trying to keep it below 400 watts for, for the first bit and, and ease into it. So like perfect, perfect world, 12 minutes, I can do um, close to 450, uh, you know, after Brasstown, Hogpen, and, and Unicoi. I did have lunch, so I had a nice little break in there, but I wasn't, I wasn't quite sure. So I kept it down and, and here I'm kind of like, okay, legs are good. Um, let's 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 play around and and dip into the 400s and see what goes on. My heart rate responded pretty well, um, so I did kind of recover from the last couple of climbs of, of after driving around in the van uh, through the rain. Definitely don't miss the the video from North Georgia where I where I kind of squeeze this in. This is this part is shortened, but where we do more of these. Um, and, and if you can ever like kind of do a trip, if you're looking for bike trips, North Georgia, if you can get a nice weather week, so, you know, summer um, is, fall is incredible there too, but very, it, I think it used to be like a known spot and it kind of, people forgot about it the last few years, but the roads haven't changed. Some good, good gravel too, if that's your, if that's your bag. I haven't, I haven't dipped into that. Um, in really North Georgia at all. You see, I kind of kind of go into the hairpins 
um, you lose a little speed in the if, if the hairpin's tight enough, you kind of have to coast through it. But that's that's the only time. A lot of people ask about standing versus sitting. Um, I'll stand if it's super steep, and I'll stand going out of a hairpin. I always think that's a good time to like, you know, you shift twice, get into an easier gear, um, get around the bend, and then uh, and then get your speed back up with a quick little sprint. So that's definitely like, I, I don't I don't really have rules of when I stand and sit, but but that's one that I'll find it, it's it's useful out of a hairpin to stand up give a little gas. Uh, so now we're at 8% and I'm just trying to hold on to that speed um, till, it, till it hopefully flattens out a bit. Yeah, now we're in the kind of getting to the towards the end of the climb um, at least we're, we're more than halfway so I'm I'm feeling better about my legs uh, I know I'm, I've got the Wahoo live segments on so I know I'm up on the the KOM times um, and I, I don't I definitely don't want to blow up but uh, but I'm, I'm not scared to to kind of hit the power a little more especially on these risers so here's here was four percent like you're kind of definitely getting some speed um, so you'll sort of kick into the, you want to keep that momentum, you keep that speed up. So if you can sort of give a little effort into the, you know, over a hump or something like that uh, to maintain your speed. I do miss these roads. I used to come out here um, every Sunday religiously. That was my church and, uh, and, and most Wednesdays and I would kind of do the same loop over and over this was kind of these were the roads where i got very sentimental for me these are roads where i kind of this is where i got fast uh, this is where i sort of turned into a climber and uh just went out there and it was it was kind of the same i had to evolve my route over a couple of years but it was pretty much the same route with um you know it's ten thousand feet of climbing maybe 11 uh 100 miles and i would just go out there the, the descents here are the just the pavement in north georgia is really nice um <laughs> it's it's always a weird irony where I love nature and outdoors, but boy, I love some fresh, clean pavement. Um, and they, they do it right here. So the descents are banked. You can still you can still pretty much pedal most of the downhills up here. So you could just go out there and, and hit it all day. And, and I would just kind of set my legs at, at 300 watts um, and see what I could do. And now today, this 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 effort's super different. This effort was a uh, drive from one climb to another <laughs> and smash myself. Now I know I'm I'm getting to the finish. Um, I can I can see it. There's sort of one bend. It straightens out. The first kind of not a big race, but the first like Pro One Two race I think that I ever won. Um, that was that meant anything was was on. These roads, uh, we actually went down Wolf Pen in the, the Georgia Cup. Delonago went down this way, so went up from the, the backside. This is kind of, I mean, you know, there's two ways to get up every mountain if there's a way to get down it, but um, I like this climb a little better than the way we raced it. This is also the route that the, the Six Gap Century, which is sort of the, you know, the cookie fondo of their area, except it's been going on way longer than cookie fondo. <laughs> um, I wonder if they have more riders than us, maybe. Super cool. Actually, I've never done the event, but I'm, I'm sure it's great because the roads are incredible. Can't go wrong there. You could have a bad event on these roads, it'd still be fun. Don't know if they have cookies. And that's the, that's the finish up there. So the very top is the Appalachian Trail. Uh, kind of crosses the, the top of all these gaps. Here it is. I, I think I ran out of gas a little bit. So we'll see if what I have left for the sprint. Yeah, it's, it's the old Phil 500 watt sprint. <laughs> Sounds about right. If you pace it right, you don't have much gas at the end. So uh, in, in defense of myself, um, it was me flagging my, my stepdad to pull over while I come back. I remember why I like Wolfpen now. It's like a good grade for me and it's real twisty and hairpinny and there's trees now that you can see them. It's a good climb. 
I tasted the pretzel a little bit. I'm glad I didn't have the cheese that came with it. That would have been that would have been all over Wolf Pen.